Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a long chatty vlog style updating slash changing my wardrobe into somewhat of a capsule wardrobe. Not exactly a perfect capsule wardrobe. I do live in a four season climate and I like to have all of my clothes visually within reach so I can see all of them at a glance. It helps me to keep track of what I have and not purchase too many things. And I like my whole closet to be super nice and organized, but it really needed some organization. I also wanted to switch out my hangers from plastic to wooden hangers. And later on in the video, I'm going to give you kind of a tour of where everything is, kind of an overview of what I have in my closet, anything I decluttered. And also I'm going to share with you guys the boots that I wear. This is super random, but the winter boots that I wear to walk my dog in Canadian climate. I had some people ask me over on Instagram. So if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Alithia. On this channel, I do focus on all things organization, minimalism, decluttering. I do a little bit of perfume, skincare, makeup, a little bit of fashion. I love doing vlogs. I love doing clean with me's. And essentially, I am all about balancing that minimal, chic life. Luxury goods with simplicity and with functionality and without going too crazy and having way too much stuff. That's what I love. If that sounds like your vibe, I would love if you would consider subscribing. You can also feel free to head over and follow me on Instagram. And with that out of the way, you guys, let's get started in today's video. All right, guys. So I was just in the middle of um, doing some organization and had a day off today. I went down to Canadian Tire and picked up some new hangers from my wardrobe. I was really, really inspired to make my wardrobe better, to improve my wardrobe, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And um, I was also inspired to make my wardrobe more perfect for myself and almost like a capsule wardrobe. Not so much capsule wardrobe in the sense that I only have like 30 items or something. Um, I do live in a four season climate. I also have a very active lifestyle. I go to the gym, I have a dog. Remember I told you guys I would one day have a dog. Well, now I have a dog. <laughs> and so I have a lot more of an active life. So I do need a greater variety of clothing in my wardrobe. And I don't think I could cull it down or would want to cull it down necessarily maybe to 30 items. I feel like that's a lot. Um, I actually went through my wardrobe and I counted and not including skirts and shorts, I have, I think about 40 or 50 items. So this is just a quick overview of the clothing. I'm not gonna focus so much on shoes and handbags today. This is more about improving my wardrobe as it is. And I went through and I counted. I counted everything that's on an actual hanger like this, not these ones. These are skirts and uh, shorts, and I like to hang them up this way with these type of hangers. And I didn't feel the need to replace them, although those ones are dark wooden, so. I don't know, whatever. I would, ideally, I would have all the same tone of wood, but I went through and I counted everything that I have here that is not on one of those kind of hangers and excluding my shorts and my skirts, I think I have roughly about 40, I think there's like 45 items or something like that. So I decided to, first of all, get better hangers rather than these plastic ones. I wanna start treating the garments in my wardrobe almost like you'd find in a boutique. Um, I want them to be hanging up really nicely. I want them to have enough space to breathe. Um, I also went through and I got rid of a couple of items. Maybe I'll share with you guys the declutter that I did, but I just needed to take some time for myself to go through and do that declutter process. Sometimes I think better when I don't have an audience, if I'm not filming. Sometimes I just have to do it for myself off camera. I have to just get really clear with myself. And sometimes that decluttering process is just a lot easier to do off camera. Um, so I'm still kind of in the curation slash decluttering process. I will probably later today try on a few dresses and just see. Um, most of the dresses are great, but I think there's one or two I just want to try on, see how I feel in them, ask myself honestly, like seriously, how, how likely am I to put this thing on? What is the occasion I would put this thing on for? Does it have a place in my wardrobe? I also still think that there's a couple of um, gaps in my wardrobe. Like, for example, a lot of my clothes are really nice, like semi-dressy clothes. They're polished, they're elegant, but as I said in the intro, I have a dog now. So a greater part of my lifestyle is actually spent in activewear because we take the dog for walks every day. We play a lot. I just, I spend a lot of my day just hanging out at home, taking the dog out and going to do errands. So I don't have a lot of like those kind of clothing, like ap appropriate clothing for that. I was in the process of curating my closet, hanging things up, getting things organized, trying to make it look better, trying to ma make it look prettier. And it just occurred to me that this seems to be the type of thing I should film for you guys. Cause I know that I really like watching when people do these things on YouTube. And I thought maybe you guys would appreciate me seeing what I'm doing to my closet. 
and I just kind of am ready to let go of the plastic hangers. I just want to upgrade. I want to upgrade my closet. I want it to look prettier and I want everything to just be a little bit more curated. I got these hangers from Canadian Tire. They're really pretty wooden hangers and my goal for today is to make my closet look really pretty and hang everything up. One thing that I've I've noticed is that they're a lot thicker than the plastic hangers so they might take up a little bit more room in the closet but I think these are really nice really nice hangers um, I like that they're wooden I think that they're gonna look a little bit more substantial and just a little bit prettier in my closet and I just think it's time you know what I mean I think it's time for a wardrobe upgrade um, not necessarily the clothing but just the way that I treat the clothing and I will say this doesn't mean I'm not gonna shop I love shopping I love trying new clothing out like I said 2024 for me is a year of curation it's a year of getting value and curating what I have not necessarily just concentrating on having fewer items come on in come on in hello <laughs> yes I'm up here yes I'm up here you can hang out here too yes yes you can hang out here too I have our beds here and he always has two toys here just in case he wants to come hang out while I'm doing stuff like this because that way he leaves my shoes alone. There, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, huh? Yeah, those are my hangers. <laughs> hey, hey you, leave it alone. <laughs> Such a turkey. Still very much a puppy and still tries to eat things he shouldn't eat. No, no, you can't have those. No, no, you can't. You can't have those. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to do a lot of it off camera and I'll probably just update you guys as I go along um, and show you maybe the finished product. I didn't want to film this whole process because I don't have a lot of time in my days these days. I will, I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's, um, I think it's fun and I know other people like to, like to see this kind of thing as well. One other thing I did get is I did pick up some white blackout curtains. The ones I have on my windows right now are gray. They, they kind of go with the walls and I don't mind the gray. I've had the gray in here for so long, but it has been a goal of mine to switch them out for white. And so I also picked up these white blackout curtains as well from Canadian Tire. I was really surprised actually at some of the deals I found at Canadian Tire. They have such great stuff for the house. If you guys don't live in Canada, then you're probably like, what the heck is Canadian Tire? They're basically like a mix. They have everything, everything from automotive to home decor to cleaning stuff to coffee to, they're kind of like a walmart and they have a lot of really good stuff so yeah so did a little canadian tire haul today and we are going to get going you guys um so i'm going to do like i said some of this off camera and i'll show you guys the process if i've decided to take anything else out of my wardrobe and just what we're doing yeah i don't really know how i'm going to feel about white blackout curtains to be honest because i've gotten so used to the gray ones and I like gray. Gray is one of my favorite colors. The gray, um, you know, I love gray, but if you look around my room, nothing else in my room is a cool palette except the paint color is neutral, maybe leaning a little bit cool, which is fine. Um, but yeah, nothing else in the room has a gray undertone. Well, except for Ivar's doggy bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything else is either like cream, gold, beige, brown. So I just felt like it was an inconsistency. I felt like maybe it was something that I could improve if I just switched out the curtains and as long as they're still blackout they have to be blackout because I need to be able to sleep <laughs> and when I work shift work and like otherwise I don't mind I'm an early bird like I get up super early every day and I like it that's just how I thrive I, I like to be literally in bed by nine o'clock at night reading a book or watching YouTube or something and then I like to be up at about 5 45 6 in the morning that's just how I operate the best but when I work night shifts you guys Black oak curtains are an absolute, absolute must, especially in the summertime to keep the heat out. So anyway, long story short. Oh, and I never told you guys either. I also upgraded my mirror. I got this um, floor mirror, which at first I was worried I got the wrong color because it's a black frame. And I was thinking maybe I should have got a gold frame to match the gold one on the dresser. You guys tell me what you think about the black frame on the mirror. I think it's fine. Um, I think it kind of grounds the space a little bit, but they did have a gold one. And sometimes I think I should have got the gold one. It's a little bit too late now. Also, you guys, I have a conundrum. I already had this one coat from Zara on the left. And I was looking for a new coat because the puppy destroyed my other coat. But this was one of the ones I ordered. And I 
I didn't realize I already had basically the exact same coat in my wardrobe. However, this is the one that came out this year. This is the one from last year, and there are some differences. This one appears to be better made. Like if you look at the seam here on the old one, it looks like that, and the seam on the new one looks like this. And I just feel like the new one is maybe better quality. Also, this is the type of coat, like this basic, simple coat. It's casual, but it's also a little bit dressy. I can wear this for travel. I can throw this on in the summer, in the fall. It's such a great coat to just throw on and it looks really, really smart. And I feel like it's the type of coat that's worth having too. So this one still has the tag on it, but I think I'm gonna keep it because yeah, I think it's the type of coat that's worth having too. So yeah, the first step I guess I'm gonna do, and I'm probably gonna do it off camera because it's gonna take way too long, is I'm gonna go through everything, make sure that there's no duplicates of anything, make sure that absolutely every single thing that's in here I would wear if the occasion was right. Um, make sure that there's nothing I don't feel uncomfortable in. I can probably cull down my shorts a little bit. Um, and there might be a dress or two that I can get rid of. And otherwise I really don't have a lot of stuff I can part ways with you guys. My wardrobe is pretty minimal and pretty minimized. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, you guys, and I will come back and update you during the progress. By the way, you guys, I am just drinking my Keurig Krispy Kreme donut coffee in my favorite mug, which is from H&M. I love it so much. In hindsight, I should have ordered an entire set of like four of these because I have two of them and they're my favorite. They're like kind of vintage looking and a little bit antique -y, and I just love it. And also I got my nails done for Valentine's Day. I actually got them done yesterday. I'm not 100% sure if I love them or not. I had French acrylic and these are like a nudie pink gel, but these are actually more of a cool tone pink, which I don't normally go for. So I don't know. I'm not head over heels in love with them yet, but maybe they'll grow on me. But next time I get them done, I'm just going to stick with probably my normal go-to French. So these came in packages of eight from Canadian Tire and I just opened the first four of them and, um, Oh, I forgot to take that one off, but we'll see if I go through all four of these. And if I do, then if I have to open more, I can, but if not, I can always return the other ones, but they were actually on sale and they were a pretty good deal. They were about $11.99 Canadian for a pack of eight. And I'm hoping that they're good quality. They seem like they will be, and I don't really need to use the, I wanted the ones with like the bottom um, bar on them just so I could hang over like pants, skirts, sweaters, whatever. But I'm not sure if I'm going to end up hanging all of my skirts on them like that or if I'll just keep the system I have right now for skirts. I'll probably just keep the system I have um, and I don't have that many pants so I really don't need to worry about using these bars too much unless it comes down to like sweaters and stuff like that and I literally have like two pairs of pants <laughs> so but yeah, I think it's just gonna be really nice to get everything looking very cohesive. And when I look at my closet, it's gonna look a little bit more organized and pretty. And I just think it's going to be a massive upgrade. And I would also like to take a closer look at my shoes. I would like to maybe get rid of a pair of shoes or two. I don't know, the thing about my shoes is I actually like, because my wardrobe is so basic, because I have so many neutrals in my wardrobe, and I wear very basic items. Um, because of that, I kind of make my outfit like special by switching out the shoes and switching out the bag. I can literally take the same outfit, the same skirt, the same top and just take it from day to night, make it look casual to dressy. I can literally switch it up just by switching out a pair of shoes and a handbag. It's amazing. And I also have discovered recently that I love sneakers and I really enjoy wearing them. I like them for travel. I like them for day to day casual. I think they're super cute. I like them for shopping. Um, I also really like flat shoes and of course I love my high heels, but I definitely do have some high heels that I've been hemming and hawing about that I was like, did I really need to buy these? Why did I buy these? Am I ever going to wear them? <laughs> Cause I kind of have my go-tos. I don't even have that many pairs of shoes right now. You guys, like I really think I don't have that many pairs of shoes compared to a lot of people. I've seen some recent shoe declutters and I saw this one girl, she had 99 pairs of shoes. And when I saw how many she had, then I instantly felt better about how many I had. I feel that they all are really versatile, really interchangeable. They're all neutrals. So literally everything in my closet goes with everything in my closet. That's the whole point of having a capsule wardrobe is that you can just switch things out and everything works. Um, even when it comes to my handbags, literally, except for the odd one, I have a green handbag, but otherwise all my handbags are also neutral and they all go together. So 
yeah, there's a couple pairs of shoes that I that I him and haw about. So the first pair that I him and haw about is this pair from Steve Madden. This really beautiful pair of white um, high heels with a little bow. They're so pretty and they make me feel like a princess when I wear them, but I have not reached for them and they're so fancy. Like they're such a fancy special occasion shoe that I just don't know if I'll ever actually reach for them. I also question my Valentino Rocksteads. As much as I love them, as much as I love them and they were a gift, um, I got them, I think, three years ago. I think I got them in 2021 um, from the Valentino store in Vegas. And I love them, but I never, ever, ever reach for them. I just don't know if they're really my style. I wish I would have gotten, instead of the ones with um, like the Rockstead T-strap like this, I wish I just got would have got a plain pair of high heels, like just plain um, pumps with the rock studs. You know what I mean? I have never worn these. These are in mint condition. I have the original dust bag. I have the original receipt. I have everything. Like I could very easily sell them. I'm just reluctant to because they're kind of special and it was just such a nice day. Like the day that I got these and I don't know, they're so pretty and it's just kind of a shame. Like they're a beautiful shoe. I should wear them, you know, and whatever. So anyway, I don't know. So those two, I kind of him and haw about. I really, really like these. I want to keep them. I just sometimes question like how badly did I really need them? Like, I don't know what the occasion will be that I will wear those. They're just fancy. They're just nice, you know, but I, whenever we go out, I always, always reach for my Christian Louboutin pumps, or I really like these, um, Zara sling back with the little embellishment. I really like those ones. Um, and then in the summertime, I really like something like this, a strappy high heel sandal. I really like those from Steve Madden. Those are great. The other pair that I him and haw about, although they're fabulous, are this pair from Lulu's. They are a feathery pair of heels. Again, just because they're so specific and they're not a particularly neutral basic, they're a little bit more fun and fancy and flirty, but I love them. They look fabulous and they make me feel like a flapper girl when I wear them. They make me feel just so fun and so fabulous when I wear them. And they are they are fairly neutral. They're neutral pink. So everything kind of goes together. And then I've just got like my sneakers and I've got my winter boots there, which also I never wear because it's Canada and I walk my dog and none of those are appropriate for walking the dog in Canada. But anyways, that's a topic for another video. But yeah, I don't have a shortage of shoes. That is for sure. Um, another pair that I sometimes think about letting go of is this pair here from Sam Edelman. These are a tall, strappy nude pump, or nude sandal rather, and I really like them. They look amazing, but they hurt my feet very, very badly. But they're such a great shoe for going out for dinner in the summertime, just because they look amazing. And I mean, they're not the type of shoe I'm obviously gonna walk around a mall in, so they do the trick for going out for dinner. You're not expected to wear them for a long period of time, you know what I mean? But they are kind of painful. My Louboutins, believe it or not, are much more comfortable than these ones. Um, so those ones I sometimes think about, sometimes think about decluttering. But otherwise, like I think my shoes is actually one of the best parts of my wardrobe. I think they're one of the most organized, well thought out, um, practical really, because they are so, for the most part, aside from those like two pairs that I don't really reach for, they're, they're all so um, versatile and they go with everything. So I actually think my shoes are one of the best parts of my wardrobe. What I really want to give some attention to is, um, do I need these two jackets or should I send back the one that has the tag on it being that they're virtually identical? Um, or is it worth keeping the second one because it's such a staple that if something happens to the first one, if I get a snag, if it gets a stain, if I wear it out, will I be able to find this one again? I mean, when you find something you love that much, you get a couple of them. I've always told you guys that because you will wear them to death and you won't be able to find the exact one ever again. It won't be there. Actually, now that I look at it, it has a different lapel. Look at this. Look at that. It has a different shaped lapel, different shape. Interesting. So they're actually slightly different. I didn't realize that they are slightly different. So yeah, maybe it's worth keeping both. I don't know. Probably end up keeping them both, but I digress. So now I think what I'm going to do is start putting things on hangers that I know for sure 100% I'm going to keep. 
Um, leave the things off the hangers that are maybes or iffy and I'm going to try on all of my shorts and all of my dresses and make sure that there's none in the shorts and the dresses that I can't see myself wearing and those are gonna go. Let's, let's just get this party started. Ivar has decided to have a nap in the corner which is awesome. He's such a good puppy. So I just hung up my first item, which is a pair of wide-legged, I don't know, kind of palazzo style pants. They're like a linen blend. And you guys, what an improvement already. Like, look at that. What an improvement already. It just, you can tell that by the time I have this done, it's going to look so much nicer. And even just seeing that one item on a wooden hanger is inspiring me to just make the best of my wardrobe and just make everything the best it can be. And I think that putting everything on plastic hangers is actually cheapening the look of everything. And I want everything to look really nice. So I'm feeling really, really inspired today. Um, I'm feeling super inspired to just curate and make everything work for me and whittle things down. All right, so continuing on, doesn't it already look so much better, you guys, with the wooden hangers? I'm loving this. This is amazing. It's giving me a whole new perspective on the stuff that I have, and I just think like going forward, picking out outfits and um, picking out what to wear is going to be so much nicer, and I'll just be able to see everything better at a glance, and it's just going to be amazing. One thing I'm asking myself as I'm pulling things out, this is actually so therapeutic and such a good process because I'm as I'm pulling things out to switch them over onto the new hanger, that's when I'm stopping and asking myself, would I repurchase this again? Like as I'm taking it and putting it on the hanger and putting it in my closet, I'm thinking, would I have put this in my closet to begin with if I had to start this process all over again would I repurchase this item um, that's such a good question to ask yourself put yourself back in the store on that day imagine that you found that item do you love the item as much today as you did when you first got it and is it something you still can see yourself styling so going through one by one to switch over the hangers is actually such a great exercise if you're looking for something to help you figure out what you should declutter and what you should keep I really recommend the hanger switch exercise. It's really nice. I also have to say I really like how um, these items look hung up on the wooden hanger. Like, look at that. That is beautiful. It looks like it's hanging in a boutique rather than on some plastic hanger just like hoping that I'll wear it one day. So I went through and I decluttered my shorts. I tried on every single pair of shorts that I had and I asked myself, would I want to wear this today? How does this make me feel? All of them I really, really like. Um, but this pair, for some reason, there's just something about it that I just do not love. I think it might be the length. I'm not really sure. It could be a little bit of the color. It's kind of like this... Um, beigey, yellowy, linen-y kind of thing. They're from Everlane. They're fabulous shorts. They're beautiful. Um, I still have the tag on it. They're a size two and they are a linen short and they're very, very nice, but I don't know. It's something about the proportions maybe. Maybe they're just a little too long on me because I am only five foot two. Um, my other shorts are just a touch on the shorter side and I feel better in them. So these I think just maybe overall are just a little long and they kind of give me safari vibes. <laughs> So I don't feel my best in them. Um, I don't think that if the occasion was right and I was trying to put together a shorts outfit, I would grab these shorts. So these ones I think I'm going to post on my Poshmark. All right, so I have everything hung up on the wooden hangers and I absolutely love how it looks. It looks so much nicer. It looks like I'm actually respecting the clothing and paying attention to them and giving them an actual space in my closet as opposed to just finding a way to haphazardly shove them into the closet until such time as I will wear them. Um, it was also really good. I was able to go through and declutter one item. I didn't declutter any dresses. I still think I could be a little bit more ruthless with my dresses because I'm trying to design a wardrobe that fits my life and I don't wear dresses as frequently as I wear like active wear and stuff like that. So that, which is the next thing I have to go through and declutter is my active wear. <laughs> 
um, but I really like how everything looks. Yeah, I just think it looks so much nicer and there's something about, you know, looking through your closet and looking through wooden hangers as opposed to plastic hangers. There's something about it that just feels a little bit more polished and I also like that the clothing can breathe as well. It just looks so nice. So I'm really inspired. I'm actually getting a little bit hungry, but I think the next thing I'm going to do is um, have something to eat and then I think I might look at my shoes a little bit more closely. Um, the, the shoes are honestly probably pretty good. I feel like I want to organize the handbags and stuff like that maybe a little bit better. And yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, skirts. There wasn't a lot that I could do with my skirts. I <laughs> Skirts is something I wear a lot. I love skirts. They're a staple in my wardrobe. I was able to declutter actually two skirts the other day I got rid of a boucle mini skirt and also one of my black mini skirts because black is just not a color I wear very often in the next couple of years if the next two years goes by and I haven't worn my black my black skirts I'll probably pass those along as well by the way you guys I have to tell you if you are looking for an amazing short check out Abercrombie and Fitch's curve love Sloan tailored short that's what these ones are and they are amazing. This is the tan color. They're very quickly selling out, but I feel like this is something they bring back every year. I got them in the color tan in a size 26. There's a little bit of stretch in the waist, not a lot. I wouldn't have wanted to size up because they would have been too loose. Like they fit me fairly snug, but there's a little bit of um, stretch and they're still comfortable. But there's something about these shorts, you guys, they are so flattering um, because they're made for curvy girls, like it's the curve short. So they really cinch in at the waist and they give you a lot more room in the hips. They flow away, so it almost looks like you're wearing an A-line skirt, but you're wearing shorts. And they're just so flattering. I love them so much. I wish that they came in a lighter color. I'm hoping that they come out with these shorts in like a birch color, like an ecru kind of tone. I would love that. They also have it in pink. They have it in pinstripe. They have them in black. They're just such a flattering short. Like I want all the shorts in my wardrobe to be just those shorts, just in slightly different colors of neutral. Yeah, they're just amazing. So I really, really recommend these. Um, check them out. They are still available on the Abercrombie website, but they are selling out fast. I'm tempted to get a pair of the pinstripe ones. I don't know if you guys remember my last video when I did a declutter. I decluttered a pair of jeans and I told you that I had a pair from Zara that were kind of a lighter wash. I wanted to show you the wash of those jeans. So this is currently the only pair of jeans I have in my wardrobe and you can see how they just go with my palette a little bit better. Um, I love the wash. I don't know how to describe them. They're like a blue, but they have like this warm tone running through them. They're sort of almost like a grayish green tone. Like they're just so beautiful. And because they're this lighter wash um, and also the way that they fit, I feel really chic and elegant to them. They're kind of like an elegant wash. So the color of the denim for me is just as important as the style of the denim. All right, good morning guys. So it is the next day and I've had some time to work on the closet and also get some sleep. And it's about 9.30 in the morning. Ivar's having a little nap in the corner there and I'm working on my second cup of coffee of the day. We've been up since 5.45 this morning. I've had breakfast. Ivar has had a couple little walks. We've played and I've done a little bit of home organization and cleaning and now I'm just continuing on with my escapades for the day, if you will. Um, and then later today, I'm probably going to go to the gym, do a couple of other things. Um, Ivar has a play date with a puppy friend and yeah, so I'm not quite down the closet, but I did want to show you guys. Um, this is what the curtains look like. So it's a little bit washed out when the camera goes up, it gets a little bit dark as you can see, but I switched out the gray curtains for the white curtains. And I do think that it is a really good improvement. This is kind of shows you what it looks like. I also got rid of the lamp that was on the bedside table. I had a little lamp there and the lamp was too small. I had a hard time getting my hand underneath to turn it on and it just wasn't the right size for beside the bed either. So I'm kind of on the hunt for a lamp, although I haven't been using a lamp a lot lately, so it's questionable whether or not I actually need one, but I feel like the nightstand looks a little bit bare and could use either a vase or a lamp or something like that. 
And yeah, but I just wanted to show you guys the curtain situation. So I did switch out the gray ones for the white ones and I actually hung the gray ones downstairs in the living room. So these are blackout, which is really nice. And yeah, if you pull them shut, they're completely blackout, but this is what they look like otherwise. They are from a company called Canvas uh, from Canadian Tire, like I said, and I really, really like them. They're the perfect length. Um, they kind of go with everything like a little bit better. It's just definitely, definitely the improvement that I needed. Um, it brightens it up in here a lot. So now the only thing in this room that's gray is Ivar's bed, but we're not in the market for a new bed at the moment. Um, I feel like eventually I will get him like a really nice like beige bed, beige puppy bed or like a ivory colored puppy bed just because he does like to sleep in um, the bedroom here with us. And yeah, so I think that it looks really, really nice. I've got my bookshelf set up in the corner. Um, so the color on the walls is, for those who have asked, because a few people have asked me what the wall color is, it is You're So Cool by Beauty Tone. And it's Y-O-U-R without an apostrophe. So it's just You're So Cool um, by Beauty Tone. So it is a slightly cooler, like neutral shade of grayish, whatever gray <laughs> really really light gray color and it just makes it just really nice and crisp in here I absolutely love it um yeah so that's what's going on today in the bedroom I just have a couple more finishing touches to put on the closet and then I can show you guys what the closet looks like All right guys, so this is how far I've come on the closet. I'm so happy with how it looks so far. I don't think it's perfect. I think there's some things that could be made better for sure. Um, yeah, and I don't know how or when I will do those things, but I'll tell you guys what I basically did. So the first thing I did was obviously go through and switch out all of the hangers. I think that is the biggest difference. That's the biggest change that I made in the closet, and I think it's made such a huge difference. It looks really, really nice having all wooden hangers as opposed to plastic. Like I told you guys before, there's just something really, really nice about seeing all of your clothing on wooden hangers like this. It is just so much more visually pleasing and when I open up my closet now I see my clothes and I just feel like I don't know they're just so much more inspiring to go through and to actually put together an outfit also because the wooden hangers are a little bit thicker than the plastic hangers and the clothes hang on them differently I feel like my clothes have a little bit more room to breathe so switching out from plastic to wooden hangers was definitely the first thing that made a huge difference the other thing that I did as well is as I was going through and hanging um, switching out the hangers. I was asking myself, is this an item I can see myself putting on? Is this something I'm likely to put on again? There are a couple of items in there that I'm still kind of on the fence about. And as much as I like to consider myself somebody who's somewhat of a, a veteran, I guess, of minimalism and of decluttering, I still have a hard time with some pieces. For example, I have um, this dress in here, this one that is this crochet crochet material. I have it in the crochet and I also have it in the white. They're slightly different. The cur the pink one, the salmon colored one is a couple years old. I wore it once. Um, the white one is newer and it fits me a little bit better and looks a little bit better. And so I think to myself, what's the likelihood that I'm going to choose the salmon one over the white one? And I really don't know if I'll ever wear the salmon one again, but I did really, really enjoy it. It's a beautiful beautiful dress it's a really nice summer dress but there's things like that or like for example um this blue one here I've told you guys before my boyfriend loves it on me and it does look really nice on me just when I look at it I think it's not me because it's blue and I don't usually wear a lot of blue so there's the odd thing like that that I'm still not 100% sure about but really I don't have that much like I don't have a whole ton of excess when it comes to dresses or clothing in general the next thing I did when it came to the clothing was I reorganized them so before I thought that I had it arranged in a way that made sense logically and visually but upon 
going to take, like, I literally looked at it this morning and it just clicked. I was like, wait a minute. I know exactly what the problem is. I just had to put things in different places. So I used to have my shorts over there on the other side of the skirts, because in my head, shorts and skirts are both bottoms. I wear them during the same season and I just thought that they looked better together. But if I want to go from shortest to longest and lightest to darkest, the shorts obviously need to be in the front because they're the shortest item. Um, so I did that. I moved the shorts from beside the skirts to in front of the pants. I also moved the jackets. The jackets, for some reason, I had behind the tops. I don't know why I did that, but I took the jackets. I put them from behind the tops to behind all of the clothing in general, but before the summer dresses. The reason I did that is because they're still, um, it's still cold out. I still need coats. And I find that when it comes to coats, if I forget that I have them, I'm not going to wear them. And they're more worn. Like there's something that I wear more frequently than a cocktail dress, for example. So my cocktail dresses that are for like special occasions and stuff like that are in the very, very back because I don't use them very often. I don't reach for them very often. So I tried to put things in a logical sequence where it's like the most worn stuff is the most visual. Also, the coats are shorter than the dresses. So it makes sense going on that shortest to longest um, gradient there. And it just looks really cohesive and really easy to understand and really easy to locate things. And then of course I kept with my typical color theme, which is lightest to darkest. So I'll take you guys through and I'll show you exactly what I have in there. Not in great detail, but I'll just kind of show you how I have things organized. But that was the, um, the last thing I did with the clothing, reorganized, decluttered, and switched out from plastic to wooden hangers, which made a huge difference. I also put away one of my bags. I had a Chanel bag hanging on one of the hooks there behind the door. I actually just tucked it up in the closet because it makes it look a little bit more bright and airy and open here. And truth be told, when I go out for a date, I'm more likely to reach for one of these two items, either this really pretty, um, pearl clutch which I got from Lulu's or my Chanel wallet on chain. The next thing that I did was I actually took the laundry hamper out of the closet and I just put it in the hallway because the laundry hamper I was I kept thinking like I'm storing my dirty clothes with my clean clothes. It just was feeling a little off to me and it also didn't look very pretty. When I opened up my closet it wasn't super inspiring to see a laundry hamper mixed in with all of my beautiful objects and not that my laundry is particularly dirty but I don't need for example like dirty work socks and stuff like that smelling up my closet. I want my closet to smell fresh and clean and like things have just been laundered. The next thing that I did to clear up some room on the floor was I moved my boots. If you guys recall from when I first started, I had four pairs of boots lined up on the floor there. I didn't like how they looked lined up and also the top of the boots was touching the bottoms of the dresses and the coats and it just looked like things couldn't breathe. It looked like things were just shoved in there very haphazardly. So I took those boots and I actually folded them up and put them in this little little storage box on the top shelf there because they're not some of my most worn items. So I have two pairs of stiletto over the knee boots, which I pretty much never wear. I'm not going to lie, but when the occasion calls for it and I do need an over the knee boot or I need a stiletto boot for the winter time or something or to wear underneath a skirt or whatever, when I need it, I need it. And then I'm not going to have it. Right. So, and also I have a pair of black, um, knee high, just flat boots from guests. They're a suede boot. I don't wear them very often, but again, when the occasion calls for it, I want to have them. Um, what I did keep out and I, I kind of just left them out because there wasn't really room in the box is this pair of boots here. These are from Steve Madden, and these are also a flat suede boot. And I kind of just rolled down the top. Um, I really love those boots. They're so pretty. They're so elegant. You can wear them literally year round. They go with everything. I'm obsessed with them. Um, but I just didn't want them sitting on the floor. So when it came to my shoes, I didn't declutter any more shoes. I was thinking I should go through and declutter, but I... I really love all my shoes and I don't want there to be gaps in my shoe wardrobe. Shoes are something I feel like I'm always going to want to buy because like I said, my wardrobe is so basic and so simple and I tend to wear the same things over and over in my wardrobe. So simply switching up my shoe makes a big difference in my outfit. So for me, I feel like I don't have a ton of like different types of shirts. I don't have a lot of different color and stuff like that. How I kind of make my style more unique and switch it up is by picking a really great pair of shoes to go with it. And you can create so many different looks just by doing that. So yeah, and I love shoes. I love shoes the same way that I love perfumes. 
it's not something I think I'm ever going to have just one of. <laughs> I'm never going to have just one high heel, one pair of runners, one pair of sandals. It's just not in the cards for me. I like to have a few options. Let's actually count them. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I have 27 pairs of shoes here. I have two, three, four pairs downstairs, I think, not including my dog walking boots, um, which I have to show you guys as well because people have been asking me about winter attire. And yeah, to be honest, winter attire just is functional and warm. <laughs> I don't have a lot of super cute winter attire. That's something I have to work on, but yeah. So this is the state of the closet now. I really think that it looks so much nicer than it did. All right, so now I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough and just show you where I have everything and what everything is. So on the very top, obviously I have all of my handbags. I went through a few months ago and I got rid of a couple of bags that um, just I was not gravitating toward anymore. They weren't really serving me anymore. Handbags is an area that I actually have pretty organized and pretty culled down. I'm really happy with all the bags that I have. What you see here is what you get. There are no bags in storage. There are no bags in boxes or anything like that. This is just what I have. So I have my larger totes in the back, my two Louis Vuitton Neverfulls, and also my Goyard tote. And then the rest of them are all small to medium sized bags. And out of all those bags, I have worn all of them a lot, except for, I think there's three. There's three bags in there that I have never worn. One of them is the Gucci Dionysus, the green one. And that's just because I think it's green and I just haven't grabbed for it a whole lot. But I really need to this summer because it's such a stunning bag and I love it so much. I also haven't reached for my Chanel lambskin or my Dior Lady Dior Mini, again, because it's lambskin. And I think I'm just worried about wrecking it so i just haven't reached for it and also the lady door mini doesn't hold a whole lot it's not super user friendly it i'll show you guys what it looks like it's up there yeah it really doesn't hold um a whole lot so not very user friendly wish i would have got a size up like the small or the medium but that's besides the point so that's where all my bags are my small leather goods because i do have a couple of wallets and stuff like that and i have the couple mini pochettes they're just inside the goyard tote i keep them inside the bag because it helps hold the shape of the goyard the goyard doesn't have a lot of shape it's a very flimsy kind of fabric so it just helps hold the shape um so to the left i have this glass shelf and on the very top i have my perfumes they're just on a marble tray the marble tray is from amazon and yeah, the perfumes, I'm gonna have to go through and do a little bit of a declutter because I don't know how many I have now. I think I have like 12 or 13, but there's a couple that I just do not, like one for sure that I don't gravitate toward anymore and I kind of want to get rid of it. And I'm also debating decluttering all of my um, travel sizes because truth be told, I don't use my travel sizes a lot. If I'm going away, I just fill one of those mini travel atomizers or I bring a whole bottle with me is what I usually do. So that is my perfumes. Then on the next shelf, as I said, I have my jewelry. Then on the next shelf below that, I have two very similar Louis Vuitton bags. They're little mini bags and I love them so much. Um, I believe it is the Speedy, yeah, Speedy Nano. I have an older version and I have a newer version and they're super cute and I love them for date nights. And then just below that, I have my one pair of suede boots that I kind of feel like maybe a bit of an eyesore, but it can stay there for now. Then beside that, I have this shoe rack, which I got from Walmart. And on there, I keep all of my fancy night out high heels, as well as a couple more casual pairs. And then on the very bottom, I have my sneakers, which includes my newest acquisition to my sneaker collection. These um, pair of New Balance, which I'm absolutely absolutely obsessed with. They're so gorgeous. These are going to be a gym shoe. Um, I just am still using my Adidas, but once my Adidas wears out, or maybe I'll just kind of switch them back and forth. I just haven't, because we've been so busy the last couple months, I just haven't even thought to like switch out my shoes or bring a different pair of shoes to the gym or anything like that. But definitely I'm super, super excited to wear those. I have been lusting after a pair of those new balances for such a long time. And I love the color combination. I love the like pretty mix of the gray and the creams and the beiges. So stunning. So that is my shoes on the shoe rack. Then I have this over the door organizer, which I think I got from Walmart or Amazon. I'm not hundred percent sure. And I like that it's clear and white. I used to have one that was like a denim color and it just stood out like a sore thumb against the door. So I have these shoes here. 
I may as well show you guys now. Um, so the couple of new pairs of shoes that I have here, I got this pair of Mary Janes from Zara. These are so stinking cute and they look so sophisticated and so chic with a satin midi skirt, some sort of a sweater or a top tucked in. They just look absolutely adorable. I love them. I cannot wait to wear them. So those are pretty new. I also grabbed a pair of ballet flats from Steve Madden, Captoe Ballet Flats. I saw these on the website. They are new this season and I absolutely fell in love with them because I love wearing ballet flats. I've tried, you guys, I have tried to be a Birkenstock girl. I've tried to have other kind of flats and loafers and stuff like that, like Oxford style kind of loafers. Um, and I just always go back to my ballet flats. I'm a ballet flat girl. That's just what I like. It elongates the leg. It looks very elegant, um, very feminine. I think it's feminine. I think that's the key word is feminine. And I also finally found a pair of white high heels. These are from Sam Edelman. Um, they're brand new. I was missing a pair of plain white, like basic white pumps for my wardrobe. And I'm so happy I have them because white goes with everything and it just looks clean and classic and beautiful. So that is, oh, and then I also have these, the Adidas, these from Adidas. I absolutely love them. I thought that they were so cute. I've been seeing them, um, all over the place and I just, thought that they were really adorable and wanted a pair for my collection. So these are a little bit more of a casual shoe. They're definitely more casual, but you can see how it, they still go with everything in my wardrobe. That's the best thing about my wardrobe is that every pair of shoes you see here goes with everything in my wardrobe and you literally can mix and match and just take an outfit from like day to night, casual to dressed up just by switching out the shoe. That's what makes me so happy <laughs> about my wardrobe. So those are really comfortable and I'm really excited to wear those as well. So that is the shoes. Um, yeah, then when it comes to the clothes, so in the very front, I have my shorts and I have it ranked from, and I have them organized from lightest to darkest. And the only unfortunate thing is I do have three darker colored um, hangers here because these are the ones that have the little clippies on them to hang the shorts. Um, it would be nice if I had some more of these ones that are lighter colored. I might have to go to Walmart and get some of those because I know they have them at Walmart. Um, but I also, I also don't think it looks too bad. But anyway, so I have three darker wooden hangers, but at least they're still wooden. So I have some shorts here. Most of my shorts come from uh, Ritzia, like the effortless shorts. So I have two pairs of the effortless shorts in two different colors. And then I have my Abercrombie shorts and a pair from Express. And then I have a black pair from Zara. Then behind that, I have my two pairs of pants in my entire wardrobe. I don't have any other pants except leggings and pants that I would wear to the gym. <laughs> so I've got one pair of linen blend wide leg pants and my one pair of jeans. I'm really glad I got the amount of hangers I did because I used up almost all of the hangers. I only have four hangers left. Um, so then behind the pants, I have my bodysuits and corset, st corset style tops or bustier style tops right there. Super pretty. I have a black one, a cream one, and then I have this really pretty ivory bustier style top. Then behind that, I have my plethora of long sleeve t-shirts. You guys know me. I love a long sleeve t-shirt. I love different variations of long sleeve t-shirts and long sleeve sweaters, and I prefer them to be in white, cream, ivory, ecru, birch, those types of colors, because those colors look the best near my face. And then I can just switch up whatever bottom that I'm wearing. I also like, because those tops are all perfectly neutral, they go with every single thing in my wardrobe. And one little tip that I've told you guys before, if you've seen my channel before, is if you find a perfect t-shirt or a perfect cashmere sweater or a perfect pair of tailored shorts, get two of them at least, if not three, because if it's something that you love that much and you're going to wear them over and over, you are eventually going to wear them out. The armpits are going to get stained. You're going to get stains on them. They're going to pill. They're going to stretch out. They're going to lose their shape over time. And then you will not be able to find that piece again. And you're going to be so upset because your favorite, favorite top is gone. So I have my favorite long sleeve white t-shirt here from Everlane. As you can see, I have three of them. 
So these three are from Everlane. They are the most absolute perfect long sleeve white t-shirt. It's this Pima cotton. It's like a micro ribbed Pima cotton. They're casual, but still a little bit put together and dressy and clean and polished looking. And they go with all of my shorts, all of my pants, all of my skirts. Um, they're just absolutely perfect. Behind that, I have two tops from Wilfred, and this is, um, it looks like just a plain white t-shirt, but I'll actually take it out and show you what it looks like. This is actually a semi-sheer, semi-sheer top, and it's more of a off-white color. So it is a little bit sheer. Um, again, it's got the perfect neckline for me. I prefer a slightly wider crew neck or a round neck or a jewel neck, something like that. Um, it's got the long sleeves. It's fitted but not overly tight and what I love about these semi sheer tops is that you can wear them during the summer when it's really hot out with um, a bralette like a lacy bralette or something underneath or you can wear them for like a sexy night out if you want to wear like a racy black um, bralette or something underneath or a black bra even and then wear it with like something for a night out wear it with some high heels and a black skirt or something like that so you can make it kind of like just a little bit more airy and fresh for the daytime and a little bit more breathable but still very classy and put together or you can make it a little sexier so i love a semi sheer top that's probably one of my favorite trends that has come out in 2023 toward the end of 2023 we started seeing a lot of those semi sheer tops and they're just absolutely my favorite they're so flattering and I also like that they're very minimal. It's almost like your skin, but better. It's it's almost like you're like you're totally covered, but you're still showing a little skin. So it's a great juxtaposition. It's not like you're literally just wearing a bralette. You're actually wearing like something that covers you head to toe, but you still show just a little bit of skin peeking through. And I think it is just the cutest look ever. And because I found this one and love this one so much, I did get two because this is the type of top I can see myself wearing a lot on repeat. Beside that, I have another long sleeve t-shirt with a crew neck or a round neck, which is what I like. This one is from Abercrombie and this one is actually lace. So again, it is a semi sheer and it is an ivory lace. And again, it's the same kind of idea, except it's just a little bit dressier looking because it's lace. And it also just adds a little bit of a different touch to an outfit, a little bit of a different twist because it's not that kind of basic um, cotton fabric. So super cute. Um, yeah, I can't wait to wear that for like a date night or something with a little bralette underneath. I think that's going to be really sexy, but also really, really cute and really sophisticated. Then behind that, I have two of my favorite sweaters. I'm going to show you guys. These are from Wilfred. These are the downtown. These are the, sorry, not Wilfred. Um, these are the Sunday best downtown sweater and it's marketed as a sweater, but it's actually looks like a t-shirt. Basically it's a very lightweight t-shirt and it's got this like open work it's a little bit breathable there's these little tiny holes in the fabric again it's got a slightly wider crew neck i know myself and i do not look good in crew necks that come up super super high and i also don't look good in turtlenecks and i also don't look good in cowl necks <laughs> i look best in a slightly wider crew that is my most flattering cut so what i love about this sweater i've worn this so many times and i wore it so much actually that i ended up ordering another one because i didn't want this one to get ruined and then me not have another one it is a favorite favorite top so again I like that it's semi sheer um, you can kind of see a top through it but not really it's like you can see your bra through it but not really um, yeah I don't know there's something about it it's really good at like camouflaging you know what I mean like it's sheer but not sheer so it's really good at camouflaging I usually just wear this with a nude basic like t-shirt bra and a pair of like pleated shorts or something like that. It just looks super casual, but very, very put together. I just love it. So this is a one of my top most worn items in my, in my wardrobe. And there's my second one. Um, I don't think they have these anymore on the website, but yeah, Aritzia is one of my favorite places to shop for stuff like that. Um, behind that, I have my one silk blouse. I don't actually wear this very often at all. It is a button down silk blouse. I just feel like, not silk, it's some sort of a silk blend, but I feel like every woman needs like a really nice collared button down top and that is mine and I have worn this quite a bit in the past actually um, it's a very respectable mature dressy looking kind of top then beside that I have my two favorite pleated tops that I've shown you guys before 
look like that. I love the pleats on the bottom. I love the mixed media. Um, I really like something that flows away from the waist a little bit when you have it on. It creates the illusion of more of an hourglass shape. And for me, I'm already a little bit top heavy. Like my bust is a little bit larger for my size. Um, so I like something that kind of accentuates the hips and the butt a little bit more. So I have that in white. And I also have it... I also have it in this really pretty sky blue color. Then behind those, so I've got my long sleeves and my short sleeves. I only have two short sleeve tops. You guys can tell I have a type. I do not like short sleeves. I actually prefer a cap sleeve. Cap sleeves are a really nice um, balance between a short sleeve and sleeveless, and they are the most flattering cut on me, a cap sleeve. And then behind that, I have my sweaters. So I have my one cashmere sweater in a beige color. I have one button down cardigan, which is from Zara. And then I have one, I have another button down cardigan, but this one's a V-neck. And this is a really, really nice, thick, good quality material. It's actually very elegant in terms of like button down sweaters and button down cardigans. Um, I don't like that many. I don't have that many, but I really like the sort of oversized longer ones. Those ones tend to be the most flattering on me. And I think they look great paired with a skirt in the wintertime or a pair of leggings. If you're just doing something casual or whatever behind that, I have all of my skirts and I do have a lot of skirts. Um, so I just have them. I don't really have them actually arranged from lightest to dark as I just noticed. I kind of just put them together with type. So I've got like my satin skirts. I've got a lot of satin midi skirts. I've got pleated skirts. Pleated skirts are my favorite. Quite a few pairs of pleated skirts. I only have one skirt of color, but I actually really, really like that skirt. It's my one, my one pop of color in my wardrobe. I am um, on the hunt for a blue floral print skirt. I've wanted a blue floral print skirt for a long time and I have one coming from Abercrombie. I'm really excited to get that. It should be here next week. So we'll see if it's going to be an addition to my wardrobe or not after I try it on. Um, then I have a couple of heavier skirts. So this one is a knit blend and it has a mixed media. So on the bottom it has a chiffon pleating and then the rest is just like a pencil like a knit pencil. And then I have a faux wrap from Aritzia. I have a couple more satin skirts and then I've got my mini skirts. So I only have a few mini skirts and on me, those mini skirts aren't actually that mini because I'm only five foot two. So actually most of the mini skirts come just above my knee. And then I have two that are actually short enough that you could consider them mini skirts. And my favorite place to get mini skirts is, um, uh, Abercrombie. So I have, for example, I have this black mini skirt here and then there's one underneath it, but I have that black mini skirt and I also have that one in exactly the same, but in this color, this birch color. And then behind that, I just have my coats and my dresses. So I've got four coats here. I already talked to you guys earlier about these coats. Um, these coats here are from Zara. Um, they are, without taking them out of the closet, they are a faux wrap, kind of a wool blend and just like super elegant. Okay, I'll take one out and I'll show you because I think they're so pretty and I wanna show you what it looks like. So that is that coat. I really like a hooded wrap coat. Um, I really wanted like a belted trench or something like that and maybe in the future I will have a trench coat, I don't know, but I really wanted like a wool coat, pea coat, overcoat, whatever, and I wanted one that was a little bit smarter looking, a little bit more elegant, but for me, I kind of know my style and I kind of know what makes me feel the best and what looks best on me. And I just tend to really like a hooded wrap coat. So this one does have a belt and um, yeah, it just wraps around and ties up in the front. And yeah, just to kind of give you guys an idea. And it's from Zara. So they have this in three or four different colors and they have it in lots of different sizes and it is still available. So I loved this coat so much that I actually got it in this light color. And this is an extra small, by the way. And I also got it in this slightly darker light, like beigey, not quite camel, but slightly lighter, slightly darker color rather. And then behind that, and I'm not gonna go through great detail of all the dresses, cause I have a lot of dresses, we would be here all day, but behind that I have all of my dresses. So I have all of my summer dresses, um, summer, summer, summer. And then starting here is where the dressy dresses go. So cocktail dresses. So I've got a white one, um, another shorter white one. I've got a really pretty lace one. I have, um, 
a v-neck like a really deep v plunge dress i've got my fancy green one that i love i have a really beautiful corset style and then i also have a red a red ruffly cocktail so i have the cocktail dresses in the back because as i mentioned they are not something i reach for a ton i also don't need to have a ton of them and something that i'm trying to do is also keep a decent amount of breathing room between all of the hangers so this i could probably honestly stretch out across the entire closet but i don't think it's really necessary i like being able to look and see all my clothes you know at a glance and i can kind of see what's there and my most worn items are direct front and center followed by my coats and then my cocktail dresses in the back so yeah that is that is the closet organization and i'm really really happy with it i think it looks really beautiful it's going to be much easier going forward in the future to tell what i have what i need what i'm wearing what i'm not wearing and i think every six months to a year probably every year i'm going to go through and ask myself the question did another year go by another summer another whole bunch of like trips and vacations pass where i didn't per where i didn't grab a certain dress and if that happens, then I'll be able to weed out my dresses a little bit. One revelation that I kind of had over the last little while, which should have been painfully obvious, but it wasn't, is that my wardrobe is not built for my lifestyle, <laughs> really. Like if you think about it, I spend most of my time um, doing things at home in the house, which would require loungewear, right? Comfortable loungewear. I also, since we got the puppy, spend a lot more time outside walking and doing physically active things outdoors. I have not a lot of like dog friendly clothing, as you can see. Um, I also go to the gym a lot and I'm a nurse, so I don't even need like office casual clothing. So I have a, I have a closet that's designed not so much for my lifestyle, you know what I mean? However, I do like to dress up, I do like to dress nice, and I do make it a point to do this as frequently as I can, given my lifestyle, because I love fashion, I like feeling good about myself, I like feeling pretty, I like feeling put together and polished, and I like enjoying life. I like all the finer things in life, you know? And so it's important for me to have a wardrobe that also matches that as well. But going forward, I really don't need to purchase much in this category. I don't need to purchase, purchase much of anything, to be honest. Like I said, maybe another pair of like dog-friendly leggings or something. So yeah, I really feel like my wardrobe is pretty complete. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I love the way it looks. It's easy to find everything. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, guys, so when I brought my boots up here, Ivar decided he should wake up and he should join the party. Um, I've been getting a couple of questions about winter attire. So here's the thing. The winters that we have here are the type of winter where you just need to be like warm and comfortable and you need to not slip on the ice especially now that i have ivar before i didn't have to worry about it so much i would just throw on any pair of shoes any pair of boots usually a pair of uggs or something and i would just zip out to the car go get groceries and come home now that i have him i have to worry a little bit more about staying warm not slipping on the ice um being able to go through the snow I just have to be more prepared for the elements. So never in my life did I think I would own like an actual proper pair of boots, but I have found myself with an actual proper pair of boots here. So I'm going to go through and just show you guys um, my three pairs of what I would consider to be like my casual winter boots. So as I told you guys, I have those other boots in my closet, my ones that are knee-high boots, and I also have two pairs of over-the-knee stiletto pointy toe boots from Steve Madden. Um, I'm going to have to do like a whole dedicated shoe video, but anyways, these are, this is like my casual, I'm just running out the door to do something or I'm, you know, going to get groceries quickly or taking the dog for a walk or running out the garbage or whatever for the winter, which is the most part, which is most of my life, right? So I don't need a whole lot of super dressy boots. Um, so these ones here are just a little like Chelsea boot. I got them from Tom's. They're not like super, like, I don't know. They're a little bit not really my style, but I just needed something that was a booty, that was simple, that was like minimal, um, neutral colored, and would be okay for like um, fall or those days where it's cold out, but we don't have any snow on the ground. So these are just a really like 
like slightly smarter looking boot that I can just quickly throw on. They're very casual. They're great for those days when I go to work because I have some sort of a work education thing and I'm literally just wearing like my coat, a pair of leggings and a t-shirt and I just need like some sort of a boot that I can throw on to head out the door because you know, it's winter time. Alternatively, I could just wear a pair of sneakers. I know a lot of people just wear sneakers in the winter time and I could totally do that too, but I wanted a pair of little booties. And so these aren't my absolute favorite, but I do wear them um, a decent amount of times and yeah, they work. They're from Tom's, um, they're suede, they're a size seven and a half, and they're just like a really basic, like just a really basic little booty. So I would recommend if you're looking for a pair of booties like that, check out Tom's. They have affordable prices. They have a huge selection. My next pair are these and I hate these boots with a passion because they're falling apart and they're super dirty and super messy. And these are probably going to have to be retired. I actually ordered a pair of boots very similar from Steve Madden. Um, they're just like these, except they're a slightly lower profile, but these are just a pair of like Ugg style boots. As you can see, they have been through it. They are like, I sprayed them with waterproof spray and I thought that I had them waterproofed and they're just not, they've got like salt on them and they're dirty and this used to be white and it's not white anymore. And they're just, they're just kind of a mess. They're from a brand. I don't even know what the brand is. A DH. I don't even know what that is. Oh, Denver Hayes. Okay. So they're not even a bad brand. They're a decent brand. They used to have a button here. I took the buttons off because the dog, like when he was a puppy, he kept on stealing them and I was worried he was going to chew off the button and swallow it. So I cut the buttons off myself and I didn't really care at this point anyways. I was like, whatever, I don't need the button. So I literally just slip these on, slip them off. They're so easy. I think I will always have a pair of Uggs in my shoe wardrobe just because they're so easy, especially being in Canada, being where it's cold. And I also think they're kind of cute. Like Ugg style boots are kind of cute. And there was a point in my life when I was like, I want everything to be super chic and elegant. Well, guess what you guys, when it's minus 30 or 40 and your dog is house training and you have to go outside every two and a half hours to take him to pee in the snow, it's not elegant. And you have to dress for the elements. You have to dress for your lifestyle. You have to dress for the weather. And so if Ivar just has to go out and have a quick potty, I take him out with my Uggs. You know, I'm not going to put on a nice, elegant pair of like knee high boots to take my dog out for a pee. That's just stupid. That's ludicrous. Um, I was so influenced by a couple of channels out there that are like fashion channels and they were talking about winter fashion. And I was thinking like, oh, I can't wear Uggs. I have to wear like only nice boots and like fancy stuff that doesn't suit my lifestyle. That's not practical. Um, you know, and when it's snowy and slushy and muddy, everything's melting. There's like salt on the roads and there's dirt and everything's dirty. Your car needs to be detailed. Everything's just a disaster. Dog hair, like the whole thing. Um, I need to be practical. So I will always have a pair of Ugg style boots in my winter wardrobe, no matter what kind they are. The ones I have coming from Steve Madden are a slightly lighter color, like I said, and they're a little bit lower profile. And I think they have maybe a thicker sole. Um, so those should be here in a month or two. They were a pre-order. I've never tried them on. Hopefully I like them. Um, but if not, these ones are probably going to go at the end of this year. They're just at the end of their days. My feet are constantly cold in them and wet in them. They're no longer serving the purpose, but thank God it's almost spring. So pretty soon I'll be able to pass those on. And yeah, these boots just remind me of like a lot of sleepless nights being up all night with the dog, um, for like a month when we were potty training him and being cold and miserable and everything was getting chewed up and like, you know, you know how it is if you've ever had a new puppy in the house. So yeah, those are my ugly, nasty, like gotta go, but also super practical boots. Okay. So I recently shared on my Instagram, a picture of these boots, uh, from the top down, I was wearing them and somebody asked me what brand they were because these were honestly, like, I didn't even want to get them because I, like I said, I never thought I would have a pair of proper, like, I don't know what you call these, like muckluck style, like Northern cold climate. They look like they belong in the Arctic boots. I never thought I would purchase these because I'm just not that kind of person. Like I'm, you guys know my style. These are not me at all, but these were the greatest purchase probably of this year. Or did I get them in December? I think I got them in December last year. These were the greatest purchase I've made. They are so fantastic when I have to take Ivar out for a walk. Okay. So where do I begin? So first of all, they are slip proof, 
they're so you can't slip on the ice they're waterproof which is amazing i didn't have to spray them with water spray or with waterproof spray they already came waterproof they are cold proof they keep my feet warm no matter how cold it is outside they're easy to slip on and off they just do up with a drawstring as you can see here these are the brand wind river somebody asked me on instagram what the brand was and this is wind river is the brand and yeah it says they're the hyper dry waterproof um they're just amazing the color is actually pretty good for me like i wanted a lighter color if i could help it and yeah they're just so comfortable easy to get on and off the way that they're shaped they're like ergonomic like when i go for a walk i feel like they're propelling me forward um they're just amazing yeah these are just amazing these were the best purchase they make me want to spend more time outside with my dog like if i was stuck wearing my uggs best believe poor ivar would not be going for very long walks because i would be cold and wet I can't walk in the snow in those things. They're useless. They're absolutely useless. They're fine for like a quick in and out, you know, going to get groceries, taking out the garbage, just taking them out for a quick pee. But if you want to actually go for a walk in the winter time, you have to dress for it. And so I actually got myself a Canada goose or no, not Canada goose, sorry, a uh, North face. And so getting that jacket, which is good to like minus 30 or 40, super warm, um, not my style at all. It's like a puffer jacket with fur, uh, not my style, but greatest investment ever when it comes to having the dog. So these boots are awesome. If I take him out, I can literally go for walks with him for like 10, 15, 20 minutes when it's minus 15 out minus 20. The cold does not bother this guy. Like I'm very careful and conscientious not to have him out there too long when it's this cold because they recommend not taking your dog for a walk if it's below minus 10 which i understand but he's also a german shepherd it does not seem to bother him he loves being outside no matter how snowy it is no matter how cold it is and so i can take these boots i can put on my north face jacket we can go for a walk and i'm okay being out there for you know quite a while we can go all the way around the block we can go pick up my daughter from school and we can even spend a little bit of extra time in the yard playing in the snow and I throw snowballs for him and stuff like that. And yeah, they were just literally the greatest investment ever. And I was meaning to get a pair because I was like, okay, Alithia, you live in Canada. You have to dress for Canadian climate. Like, you know, stop trying to wear ballet flats in the winter. It's not working. So these were just such a good, such a good investment. I'm so happy that I got them. Yeah. In fact, I don't even know if I'll need my Uggs. Like maybe going forward, I should just always wear these, but yeah, these are, these are my dog walking boot. They're awesome. And I, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 would recommend these for sure. Never thought I would own a pair of these in my life, but they were probably the, one of the best things I purchased last year. And with that, you guys, I think I'm going to end this video. <laughs> it's time for me to clean up a little bit and go have something to eat. And then pretty soon Ivar is going to go for a play date with his puppy friend. Um, his puppy friend is a Pomsky and they're about the same size right now, but pretty soon Ivar is going to be bigger than him, but they're like best buddies. They have so much fun together and yeah, so that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little, my little closet update. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you for being here with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this long, chatty, sort of capsule wardrobe makeover. I hope it inspired you to do a little bit of improvement in your own wardrobe. And I'll see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.